yes, I'm back. We're just doing another test. We're, we're test charging two LTO cells off of this arrangement, just a small coil, uh, a bridge rectifier. Just bring off a tiny amount of heat, not too bad. And two cells, and I'm monitoring it. So it is charging them uh, from this arrangement here. So, you know, probably the higher voltage I charge, the less work from the source, in my understanding, on this setup. The coil puts out about 6.3 volts. Um, I'll turn it off. And, uh, give the cells to actually charge really well. Um, 5.75 volts, we'll turn on the system. Nothing else on this, just the recharge of uh, the two cells with the most basic coils. And a bridge rectifier. Charges, it does climb, it's 5.086 uh, volts right now. Takes a little while to charge, obviously. And I'm probably not even positioned properly on the coil. You know, it's, pro it's not really designed um, for this purpose totally, but uh, things seem to be doing well. Um, I'll put this back in the middle here. And uh, you can see that it is uh, charging the cap. much full. I think uh, 2.8 volts is full capacity per cell. It's almost 6 volts. And uh, here, disconnected. It's less than volts, it's 78. We'll let it run for another few seconds. And uh, that's about that. Now this can all be improved upon. I don't think this is the best coil to use. Uh, I'm not really probably getting maximum coupling. Uh, like I said, I just used it for uh, because it was the only one I have made. It's by filer in this size range. And uh, so I went with it. And uh, here we are. It is going to charge this secondary battery over time with, without any issue. Um, let's see if I can do something here. We'll see about throwing this coil on here like that. See if I can get a light bulb on it. I don't know if it'll happen here or not. I haven't quite got enough hands. Okay. You can see the bulb is lit. Charging the capacitors and actually charging them substantially faster. Six, you can see. I'll take this bulb off the load. And uh, 5.150. Oh. Back on. Bulb is on. 5.1. Charge there really fast, and uh, don't know what the cause of that was. Maybe when I applied the uh, the second coil, maybe when I take the resonator coil off, voltage drops a bit. Uh, this has the resonating circuit on it, so that uh, causes the voltage to go up a little bit on the charge rate. So lots of things to be learned yet, but uh, well underway. Anyways, let's see what the standing voltage is of the cells. 5.1-ish. Very cool. And like I said, we can still power load. Again, this is not up in the best fashion. There's uh, other places here, if I can remember where they are, <laughs> but I get brighter brighter results. Maybe it was this one. Yeah. There you go, 
bumps a little bit further. <laughs> it's hot. Uh, still charging pretty nicely. So things look good. All right. Most simple little unit. Uh, you've got the three stack resonator coil, which gives pretty awesome results on this arrangement for a 100 watt bulb. You've got the um, recharge wire, low voltage, high amperage, higher amperage. I mean, it can be tuned. It should be tuned. It's just kind of thrown together to do a uh, potential test. And 5.117, we'll turn it off. And the resting voltage is volts, 5.99. So that's great then. 2.5 amp hour cells. Uh, recharging in uh, pretty good time. Ciao.